This is Na'alehu on the southeastern uh, side of the big island. It's a nice little uh, town. I parked right in front of the civic center. And it looks like they have a post office. And I saw way back there, there is a public library. But it's kind of behind the building, it's hard to see. And another thing you will notice when you come to a place like this is that there will always be a church or two or three or four or a mission. And there is an example of that on the other side of the street. We got some uh, traffic jam. People are looking for parking. And we have an interesting building behind this truck. But it looks dead. Totally, totally dead. I have no idea what this used to be. It kind of looks like an old movie theater. But right now, it's falling apart. Definitely falling apart. And I know for a fact they have a restaurant and I think they have a store um, on the other side of this parking lot. And if you want real estate, you, you can probably sign up in this office. And into the left, I know they also have a bakery. And I see on the sign, they say 100% KU coffee. And that's a good sign. That means they have some good stuff. Um, I should probably change location, so let, let's do it. They have plenty of parking next to the bakery and there is also a big pile of Hawaiian trash. Well, they are very good at collecting that stuff. But um, I will uh, go down to this yellow building, you see. And I think, by the way, this area belongs to the bakery. It's a beautiful park area, lots of birds up in these trees, I can hear them. We have an older plumeria tree, beautiful flowers. Only two by the way, two, no three, I see three flowers. People go in, they buy stuff, and they sit outside and eat, which is very nice. They have a little store inside, selling, you know, t-shirts, beach stuff, souvenirs. Even a Christmas tree. It's probably not for sale, but they, they have it on the shelf. This is good snack, by the way. Sliced coconut. And they have all kind of fruit. And bread and drinks, and I'm thirsty, so let's see if they have uh, sparkling water. Uh, I can't see that, but maybe I'll find uh, something else, maybe a regular bottle. It is definitely a popular place. They have uh, people coming all day long, from early morning to late in the afternoon buying stuff, eating stuff, sitting down, buying a cup of coffee, things like that. 
They call this the southernmost bakery in the United States. And that's probably true because south of here is nothing. This is what I'm looking for. 100% pure cow coffee. It can't be better. And the place is located right next to the, well, should I call it the fire station? Yeah, maybe. There is a fire truck, a yellow one. You can buy your nice coffee, you can sit down in the sun and have a good time. I should probably do that. This is the coffee shop. It's very nice. I'm all set. I picked up a cup of espresso and a bag of 100% KU coffee. So life is good. And I'm going to finish that coffee right next to the fire station. In case you are craving tacos, you can relax. They have it in this yellow building. I haven't tried them, so I, I couldn't say if they are good or bad, but uh, at least the building looks really nice. I have to U-turn. I think I will um, make a right continue to drive maybe 10 more minutes before it's time to turn around. At least you are seeing an example of a very typical town. And in some areas you always have older and big trees. And I believe they have a mission into the left, so I think I should uh, stop here. It turned out I was one street away and you can kind of see the green and white mission in the background. Well I said mission but I'm reading on the sign and they say church. It's kind of the same thing in one way. The Sacred Heart church and I'm almost tripping I need to focus anyway it's a beautiful building and I like this green color they chose let's see if I can cross the street it's a very peaceful uh, area Oh, it's open. I cannot resist to take a look. Wow, look at this. It's 
pretty nice. Built in wood. And we have a piano. Well, somebody is here, so I will just back out and take a look at the courtyard. If we can call it a courtyard, I don't know. It's just a very pretty place. And they put up like a Jesus statue right in front of this church tower you see in the background. Hello Jesus.